All right, so y'all want to see in how much of the car was lost? Well, there's some issues that's also come up with the, with the Chevy shell, but it'll still provide a lot of sheet metal for other things. Let's see. I can get this to match. Give or take. It's not quite exact, but somewhere along like that is how much the, of the car was lost. So... That's how much I'll have to build and go on. Uh, there's some stuff over on this side that I can actually use. Let me get you guys off the camera here and show you what's going on. Yeah, off the stand indeed. I'm reshooting some of this video because I didn't like how the rest turned out. And uh, sun glare was kind of bad. So wait till evening hours. Um, so I showed in the video from the other day i showed how much rot you know has taken away the portion of this car and this little skeletal structure right here well i really can't use it because it's rotted right there yeah i could take this section off and everything but it's like you know what i got a pattern and i'll just go ahead and use this uh once i dig start digging out this stuff um i'll find out the proper gauge you know cut down so far find out what the skeletal structure is right there so i can you know start rebuilding it and reforming it because i think uh of course i have to replace stuff down here i just gotta dig all this stuff out try to get it off as much as i can you can kind of see some of the factory welds i won't sand i'll just kind of go ahead with the drill and take it kind of peel it because this goes up to another section like someplace around right here, it splits off, goes to another section, and it should split off again. And it comes up to the top sculptural structure right here. So it's pretty much like a one, you know, entire one, two, and a three. And back here, I'm still, I need to get over on that side, see what it is. Uh, once I take this section off, you know, right here on both sides, I'm going to need to make a, a wooden pattern in order to, uh, you know, hammer it out properly to what I need. I might as well go ahead and remake that one too once I dig it out because of the rot right there. In fact, I might actually improve it. Uh, I might um, actually take it to the back there more a little bit because uh, I kind of want to put a section over back right there for the window and attach it on to said window so that way the the back there is just kind of not, you know, flapping around. <clears throat> or at least that's what I think. But uh, I just still need to make sure, you know, structurally sound more in the back and attach it to the back window. So that was a little bit more of a structure. So, uh, yeah, I'll start digging this out. Um, I got restless uh, Monday and Tuesday. So I'm just going to go back to working on cars Monday and Tuesdays. <clears throat> Excuse me, Thursdays and Fridays and some Saturdays. Well, um, the sheet metal, real, real fast, like the sheet metal place can't make sheet metal uh, roofs for this anymore. Uh, the guy who originally uh, they sent him out and everything to do measurements, he quit two weeks ago. So I'm trying to find a place or at least something online to uh, get enough big piece of sheet metal. Uh, I think that's probably, you know, maybe four foot across. I'd like to find at least something five foot, five by eight. Make the pattern and such, everything right there from the lip. And then contour it and everything. I may actually have to make a custom deal for the English wheel. To take the uh, wheel attachment off and everything and put it on something else. So that way I'm going to have Tucker's help and just kind of contour and f form it and stretch it. Um, because you know, I kind of butchered this a little bit, but nothing too biggie. Uh, this top will be used for sheet metal for other things because, um, I was measuring more and more. This is more flatter, as I'll show. I'm not sure if I showed it already, but kind of can see use this middle section for a, for a gauge. See how it's flat right there. And then come over here the Cadillac and as you can see more bubbly I'd have to stretch the living snot out of that but then it'll also 
put stress cracks in it, if not split it. So, really can't use that roof. First I thought I did, you know, how I was saying this and that. But uh, as you learn as you go along, that's okay. Still plenty of sheet metal on the car to use for other things. Um, yeah, once I redo the skeletal structure, I'll mix things differently because I'm going to do some stuff a little bit more uh, modern for this. So um, I'm also trying to dig the skeletal structure out right here to use it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I got to cut a little bit more on each side to free it. And then try to find more of the factory welds uh, to drill down and split it. It's I kind of butchered it in some spots, but no big deal. It's an easy fix. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit smaller than the Cadillac, which I found out that um, Chevrolet, uh, Pontiac, uh, Buick, and Oldsmobile are a lot smaller than Cadillac. So Cadillac's a breed of its own. The fastbacks and everything, yeah, cross over just fine. But uh, the other stuff, for some reason, you know, something like this is just way smaller. And I still have yet to, uh, well, I had a chance to get a uh, Chevrolet fastback, but someone beat me to it. And I was kind of sour about it. Um, it was last year. But uh, I was mainly after it for the roof and everything. But now since how I want to save, you know, any kind of fastback, you know, yeah. I won't cut any other fast back down unless it's a, if it's in a ditch, uh, you know, someplace, you know, like, you know, out here in the county, you know, if I ever find one, I'm going to go uh, ditch riding sometime along the main uh, um, county roads here in the neighboring uh, state to try and find uh, a car, you know, in the ditch. And they're still, they still exist. I know quite, where, where quite a few are at, but I don't know if any of this are around. If it's in a ditch, then I'll inquire it with the county and see if I can go out there and, uh, you know, just kind of cut things off to, to what I want. But that'll come maybe uh, next spring. But uh, for now, I got to start hunting around for a spot for, uh, for a big piece of sheet metal online. So, but anyways, yeah, digging this out. I was digging it out slowly, uh, slow, just as much as I can. There's a few more factory welds here that I'm trying to get. It's um, very quite bizarre. I kind of went through a few spots. Where's the holes at? Yeah, you know, like right here. So, eh, trying my best to save what I can. Uh, cut so far on each each side. Reform it. In fact, um, when I get over here, when I put it in. I'm going to take my time on taking this out and replacing it. And then when I do, I'll probably add something on top. So that way something is a little different and more appropriate. Because I kind of want it to come out. And then when I have the ribs, uh, well, excuse me, the skeletal structure right here, I'll put better ribs in the middle. Because I actually want a console kind of more in the middle. And since this will be carrying kids someday, I'm going to have like a little uh, LED TV that will flap down right there. So, yeah, she'll, she'll be a family car someday, but right now, um, the hunt is actually on for, uh, places online to sell sheet metal. If anyone knows of a sheet metal place online that's reliable, let me know, because I'm going to have to, uh, start redoing some things over right there. Yeah, it's going to take me all winter, um... I'll make a wooden rib structure to match up with this. So that way I can just start, you know, forming it, contouring it. Uh, the roof on this is entirely different. It goes down and underneath and tacks to where this, I thought was the same thing, you know, where I showed the lip where it goes together right here. Yeah, this is entirely different. I, I was feeling it. I almost felt the same because I said, it's like, oh, yeah, it feels the same. No, it's not. So I'll go back over to the skin right here. Yeah. So. That's how it goes. It goes on. Because this is the other skin right here. So I thought, I like, you know what? I'd be careful. You know, let's cut it. Try to, you know, along that uh, so-called body line. 
no, it's it's different. So yeah, but that's that's rusted. I can't quite use it, but I will use it for a certain pattern. And after all, I do have stuff on that side to go by. I just got to strip things off even more. Uh, I probably may work on this on Monday because I'm gonna heat up the those stupid I don't know those screw things whatever that they use on that door and see if I can't dig them out instead of drilling because you know that's a good side and once they're out I will use a uh, bolt system get rid of those stupid things and upgrade it so I mean it's not a huge loss um, you know we still got metal for a bunch of other things even some metal off of that will go on to this you know flatten it contour it, you know pop it over as you know, I thought first I thought I was like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, I did some measurements, but you know, I did it again earlier today, and and yeah, it it just won't work. I'll actually ruin the metal. So sadly, there's not much else to say, you know, other than digging it out, still digging out that skeletal structure. I only had Friday to work on that, and only got so far, you know, I'm just digging it out slowly, so. Yeah, Monday, I'll take a break from yard work and everything and work on this and, you know, try to get that door off properly. And, uh, yeah, you know, working on this slowly. And then I also need to, on Tuesday, start making blocks and get those ready so I can start getting the some cars off their frames. You know, the twin 64s and... You know, chair bomb Victoria over there. I got to pull her over. Got to put the 58 Biscayne on a sizable pallet. Move it around and get it up on a different system. Other than that, those stupid blocks. And, uh, you know, block it up, you know, a little differently. So I can start working on the floorboards, which I did find better uh, floorboard uh, patterns online. Well, actually, they sell them. Uh, and Paula, I'll put into it. So, yeah. So, all in all... Uh, yeah, I'm going to be very busy this winter. Um, I will say this, hold on, let me get the camera focused on to me. Um, I will say this, they're expecting a very, very nasty winter here. Uh, very wet, a lot of ice, uh, just a lot of snow in general. This area, we can get a huge, vast amount of snow. We can get at least down to negative 30 below zero. Um, I'll try to work on cars as much as I can, and if it gets too nasty, you know, I'll make it look like a little blog, you know, try to, you know, pass the time. So I do apologize in advance, because, um, yeah, it's going to get pretty nasty. So, so yeah, trying to get things ready for a lot of stuff, you know, for this here, for that there, and also get things ready for the Cyclone GT, which I'm actually not going to pull that out after all. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and replace that rail over on the side there. And a uh, cousin of mine, I think I mentioned this in the previous video. I do apologize. But uh, he says he thinks he may have found a uh, roof replacement for that, but he's not sure yet. And then another cousin of mine, um, he may he's going to inquire about two others about satellites to replace the roof on that. So, but yeah, one cousin thinks he may have found an entire roof replacement for the Roadrunner and also possible rails in the front. I want to actually replace those rails in the front because I'm not quite sure about them. Um, I mean, the body, the back of the body is still pretty straight, but the rails in the front right here, I just don't quite trust. So, yeah, but I'll find out. As I go along, because that metal piece, that metal piece right here, that's that's trash. We'll go ahead and get rid of it. Oh, there's a cottontail. I don't know if you saw him. See right there. What you doing, little one? We got a massive big male jackrabbit around here somewhere. So yeah, we're very busy this winter, getting my stuff going, getting Tucker stuff going. Uh, Barracuda, I'm gonna scoot that over. Also on Monday. So that way that's a little Mopar section. Uh, also with the blocks I'll be making, get those up, get them off of their system, uh, block them up properly so I can crawl underneath, redo whatever needs to be done underneath. And I think in the spring we're going to yank the transmission and engine out of that. 
and uh, redo a lot of things in there. Gonna have proper roller chassis. Uh, it's just a lot of stuff. And next week, I know people are asking um, when Tucker's home again, we're gonna get that Super Day frame back up and we're gonna yank, finally yank out the 352 and Drama Queen over there. So, and I think also, too, I got to get the camper and the boat a little positioned differently because we're also going to start working on those, too. So, yeah, other than that, going to be very, very busy with cars, boat, and the camper. And also, too, in the future, just a little bit of a teaser thing, campers. A lot of birds flew overhead. Thought they are going to drop something on me. I got nervous. Uh, so anyways, yes. Uh, messing with some campers in the future. Special uh, plans for those. But we'll uh, discuss that when we cross that path sometime next year. So, yeah. Just got to finish cleaning stuff up. And, uh, yeah. So, all in all, it's pretty much everything in a nutshell. Uh, sorry that this video is, didn't have that much in it. Uh, next video on Sunday... Should be the no next week should be the last one. Hopefully, uh, it is to have one video per week. If not, then I'll, I'll announce on the next video or <clears throat> excuse me, the community tab. because uh, I gotta pick up a few more things and then work on those stupid tree stumps, cut them, move them, flatten it out right there so I can have more room to work on cars. And then also, oh, yeah, also finally pull out the 55 Ford. <laughs> Need to pull out my 59 Ford too. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of projects. Yeah, taking on too many. Yeah, but I uh, need to start getting a lot of the older cars that we've had for the longest period of time done first. So that's pretty much everything in a nutshell. Looking back over, gonna dig that out. Gonna do this and that. So yeah, then I'll also show everyone how to level a car. Once I get the other door off on uh, what you need to do before you even work on any sort of a car or truck. So that's everything before I ramble on more and more. Thank you all for the support. So you all have a good now. Take care and stay safe and see you later. And thanks again for the support. I don't know why I said that twice, but whatever. It's been a very long day.